Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Lilac Rose. I know I've been gone for so long. I've been having technical difficulty with all my products. Um, I'm very having a hard time uploading the same video. This is the third time me shooting it. Oh my god. I just wanted to have it this time. Hopefully it works. I have to go back to my old iPhone because my Android's not taking any more videos on my uh, MacBook and I'm just like ugh, the struggle so yeah the quality might look a little bit off but you know at least you know what I am here for but if you guys know what I'm here for you guys know by the tag name yes I'm doing a Barnes & Noble mega haul <laughs> so I took everything out because I wanted to just have it right here in the pile and I can grab it show you guys I've never read any of these books um, these are all completely new besides like the bottom ones um, everything in here is like a romance book besides like one so I hope you guys really enjoy this video and you know comment subscribe since you're in my channel also hit that thumbs notification because that really helps my videos thank you guys so much so before we get into this let's roll that wonderful clip <laughs> Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Barnes & Nobles haul. Oh my gosh, I picked these mangas up like two weeks ago. I've been trying to put this video out. Yeah, I have multiple videos, but they're all on my Android and I can't take them off. So I have to reshoot a lot of them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to keep fixing my Android on my computer. Um, but so far, I can't use my Android. So, I'm just going to go on with, you know, ranting. And here is some of the manga that I picked up. So, I'm going to start with this one. This one is Mint Chocolate. This is a new series. I'm sorry for my ring light in the background. But, yes, I have a ring light to show you guys even more. So, this is Mint Chocolate. Um, Really good anime or manga series, sorry. Uh, at least what I was reading in the back. Uh, here is the back if you guys would like to read that. You guys can pause it if you would like to. If the camera will focus, I am so sorry I have to use this lower quality. Uh, but yes, um, what this is about is about this girl liking this boy in high school. And the next thing you know that their parents are getting married. Now they're becoming stepbrother and sister. So what do they do? Very interesting story. This is by Yen Press. It's a new series. It just came out. And this is Mint Chocolate Volume 1. Uh, really cute. I like the cover. Uh, you know what, what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to turn off my background lights just so I can redim it down a little bit and I'll put it in the side. So let me readjust everything really quick. Okay, hopefully that helped a little bit. I had to dim it down a little tiny bit because it was getting so much glare on here. It was ridiculous. I know it looks a little bit dark in here, but uh, this is what happens when I have to downgrade everything else downgrade. So got a new mic at least <laughs> but yes this is mint chocolate uh really have not read this yet i have not read any of these yet i i want to start reading them but i didn't want to start reading them until i showed you guys these mangas first so that was mint chocolate that's the first one that i got so let's get to the next one okay guys so here is the second one this is called perfect world volume 2 i do have volume 1 right here um which i did finish reading already really good manga i really highly recommend reading this one here is the back if you would like to read that and go ahead and pause the video um what this is about is is about these two characters right here who like each other and in high school so they grow up and they finally meet each other at a high school reunion and she finally sees him and notices that there's something a little bit different about him it does explain how he gets in the wheelchair and when he got in the wheelchair he got it in his third semester of college and he was a basketball player he was amazing and I guess that kind of crushed his dreams now he is you know an archaeologist which is you know not an awesome not a bad job that actually plays pretty well good so this is my number two volume of the perfect world I really like this manga I, it's a really good romance manga i love the art style in here this is another kodansha comic books really love kodansha they're really killing it with the romance books um yes i love it how they use white on their books a lot but it's so hard to sometimes see it because it's just yeah <laughs> so let's get to the next one okay guys so i've never 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 read this book this is completely new um this one's called so we swear to me in the next life and then that's when things got weird um what this is about i believe when i read it is about these two people that are different age 30 
17 <laughs> way off so um yeah here is the background if you guys would like to read that just pause the video and you guys can read the description below or description in the back this is by seven c's manga really thin manga so i'm gonna get through this really quick um but what i've read so far is that the these people who are a completely different age love each other in another universe which is crazy uh but yeah it's just i cannot wait to read this i know it sounds a little bit weird coming from you know an adult point of view liking a child so but remember this is just imaginary so you don't want to really take things to offense um so i i thought this was pretty interesting and i don't mind reading it so i think I, that's why i picked it up but if you want to pick this up this is what it looks like it's called i swear we swore to meet in the afterlife and that's when things got weird or we swore to meet in the next life sorry and that's when things got weird yeah, I cannot wait to read this. It's a little tiny manga, so I'm going to go through this probably in a day because it's so thin. It's not like your traditional kind of thicker manga. Uh, but yes, I am excited to read this. Let's get on to our next one. Okay, guys, this is another one that was really good. This is Matsunaga-san. Living Room Matsunaga-san, really good manga. I Like I said, Kodansha really loves doing these white backgrounds, which is like really hard, so I have to like twint it down so you guys can see it because my ring light is so bright um yes this is here here is the background if you guys would like to read it really interesting i know i'm going through these pretty fast but uh this is like my third time shooting this video so i'm just like oh my god okay so the first two were so much better than how this one's turning out so here we have the more mango strips right here. Really nice art style. I really like how it looks. What this story is about, it's about this girl who moves into her uncle's duplex complex building that has six more people in it, including her. Um, she ends up falling in love with this guy named Matsunaga. He's kind of a, like, you know, really don't care kind of guy, kind of cool guy, you know, uh, don't give two fucks. But their age difference is completely different. He's like in college and she's in high school. Um, and she starts having feelings for him. He has not confessed yet. I'm barely on Valium 2. I do have Valium 1 with me, uh, which is right here. Really cool. I like, this is Valium 1, this is Valium 2. So I'm excited to read, continue reading Living Room Matsunaga. Really good manga. Uh, and the author here is Keiko Iwashita. Keiko Iwashita. I hope I said that right. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, also, the authors for this one. Um, oh, God. This one's uh, Haro Hachiya. Haro Hachiya. And the other one on here for Perfect World is... Oh, I can never pronounce this person's name because it's so weird. It's R-L-E. Raleigh. Raleigh Aruga. Aruga, yes, Raleigh Aruga. I'm thinking I'm saying that right. I'm not too sure. That's why I don't really want to butcher these names. <laughs> and Mami Orikasa. So that one's for mint chocolate. Um, but yeah, I do. I, I bought so many mangas. I bought this with my own money. None of this was sponsored. So this is all for my own money. So let's get to my next one. Okay, so this one's the next one that I have, Fiance of a Wizard, which really captured me, I'm not going to lie, is the art style on this manga. It's very, very, very beautiful. I really like the art style on here. Very colorful, very pink. Um, here is the back right here, so if you guys would like to pause that and read it, you sure can. But I'm going to show you, tell you a little description of this. So she ends up dying, and she ends up in this fantasy world where she's falling in love with this wizard. She wakes up in a reality world where it's all fantasy, like wizards, witches, Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. So um, it's amazing. So here is the Yen Press. It's up by Yen Press, and it's T. Um, it is also a sh little manga. It's also it's a little bit thicker than the um, other one, as you can do comparisons. Uh, a little bit tiny thicker uh, if you have to see it in person. So the price difference is also different too. This one's 13 and this one's 12. Mm, not much of a big difference. It's only a dollar more. But yes, I really got this because of the art style. I really like the. Um, colored pictures in here as well really beautiful uh here's some of the art style in here uh, i don't really want to spoil it for you guys but yes you guys have to pick this one up i highly recommend these books because i did read the back of them and they sound really interesting if you're into romance books then you really will like some of these romance books i love romance books um 
so yeah I just, I, that's why I picked them up I just thought I would share with you guys what I've got I think these books are amazing I have not read any of them yet I'm, I cannot wait to read some of them I am so excited so let's get to my next one okay guys so this is probably not my you know romance book this is like a shoujo book um, but this is by Viz. Viz also does, I think, the anime as well. I have not seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I have not read the manga. And it took me forever to finally figure out where to start because there were so many different colors. It was insane. Um, I do like the feel of this because it feels like kind of like a rubber kind of texture. Weird, but it has that embraced and bordered kind of like character design. Really cool. It says JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I believe this is the first one that you're supposed to start with in the series. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know because there was blue, there was red, there was diamond, there was all kinds of colors. I'm like, okay, well, where the hell do I start? This one's okay. So that is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So this is by Hiro he Hiro Hiko. Ar Araki, I believe I said that right. Um, this is a Phantom Blood Part 1. So I believe when I was reading, oh my god, you can really hear the spine in that book. That's how you know it's new. <laughs> so we're, I guess we're starting in London, 1880. This reminds me of like the times of the Rose Versailles. Oh my god, that book was so challenging to read. It was so challenging because it had all the French words. Um, so here is some of the art style here. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what JoJo's Bizarre Adventure looks like. They give me that kind of like buff gay dude. I, I'm not I'm not joking with you. Um, it just looks it looks funny. But other than that, I, I am excited to read this. I think I'm gonna read this next because my friend does want to read this, but here is the back. Really cool art style with a guy with pink hair and some Dalmatians. I don't know any of these characters. I've never seen the anime. I've never read the manga. So if I'm wrong and you're supposed to start with another color, please let me know. So I'm starting with green. Um, that's what at least someone told me. I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, I got number one of green and I'm excited to read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What got me into reading JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is... I don't know, I wanted to try something different. Everything here that I got was a romance book besides like this one and maybe another one in here. But um, yeah, so I just cannot wait to read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So let's get to my next one. Okay guys, so here is part two of Wotakoi, Love is Hard for Notaku. I love this series. Oh my God, it is so good. Uh, I, these two characters are always at their throat, but you know, that's how you know they love each other. I cannot wait to read Valium 3. Um, the Japanese version is more Valiums, but they do have two mangas in this book. That's a good thing. Part 1, I already read. It's on my bookshelf, but this is part 2. I've never really talked about Wotakoi, but Wotakoi is about these couples that are all adults, and they work all at this, you know, not, I'm not going to say store because it's not a store. It's kind of like this program like software place i believe i don't remember but um yeah they're all adults and they all have different genres of anime and manga and stuff that they like they play video games they're an otaku what do you think an otaku does so they start dating other otaku members which is really cool because they're all kind of like super nerds <laughs> so i i think it's a really good story it's really charming it's a good rom-com if you guys are interested in books like that i cannot wait to pick up volume three of wotakoi love is harder for an otaku um i really enjoyed this manga I, I think it's one of the best that I've read and I know there's an anime out in Japan but it has not hit US yet which I don't understand why this anime is so freaking good even the live action I heard was really good so um yeah this is what the back looks like if you guys want to read the back I do have the first one I might have to get a new first one because my first volume was destroyed because my cat was sick and she pooped all over the first one so I still have it on my bookshelf but it's like away from my other books um but the pages are all discolored yellow right here and like it's disgusting so I have to probably pick up another one but I'm excited to have number two uh I can't wait to read number three I think this goes up all the way to four or five volumes um because there is two books in these so that's why there's they're little they're thicker than you know your regular manga but i can read through these like nothing i love the series i think it's amazing it's funny 
Um, her girl, his girlfriend here is a big BL fan, like crazy, and she tries to get him into it. I think it's just, it's so hilarious. I love that book. You guys should highly recommend reading Wotakoi, so let's get into the next one. So here we have my Dress Up Darling Valium 3. This is a Square Enix manga, and this is by Shinichi Fukuda. Um, I really enjoyed this manga. This is the third volume because I've been reading this series like crazy. Here are the other two right here. Uh, I did pick this up when it first came out. I believe they're going on, they're on like number four or five. I'm a little bit behind. But yes, I really enjoyed this series. I really highly recommend this series. It's really good. It's about a boy who, you know, works in this business with his grandpa. And he is in love with these Hana dolls. The Hana dolls are those traditional Japanese dolls with the white face and the beautiful kimono. Yeah, but he only does the outfits because he's not really good at doing the other things. So he ends up meeting one of the popular girls in school and she ends up being a total cosplayer. So she ends up telling him to cosplay his costumes and make them since he knows how to make outfits. So this is the first time he's ever done it. So he's used very heavy fabric. It's a really good series. It is parental, uh, parental advisory, but you know, it's not that bad. There's like a brawl scene here and there. It's not really that bad, but it's a really good series and it freaking makes me miss Khan so bad. Since we've been in the pandemic, it's been very hard. You know, we have not been doing anything. There's pandemic after pandemic and closure after closure. And I just freaking miss reading cons. So this is a close thing for me to like actually being at a convention. Oh my God, I didn't know they had so many conventions for everything in Japan. It's crazy. Like I, I wish America was like that more, but we only get ours like in certain months and summertime and you know uh, yeah but yeah here's like some of the artwork really cool artwork if you guys would like to read the back here is the back this is not a girly book even though the um the front page the front book might throw you off it's not like oh my god we're super girly we're gonna wear makeup and dress pretty no it was completely different than what i read um when I picked it up because I just picked it up and I didn't even see this sign right here because it came in plastic. Um, I originally got this off of Right Stuff but I bought the other two off of Barnes and Nobles. Uh, but yes, I am so excited to read part three of My Dress Up Darling. Really good series. I highly recommend it. Uh, one of the best. Uh, it's really good. So yeah, if you guys want to read My Dress Up Darling, go ahead and pick it up. Really good series. I highly recommend this again, like I said. <laughs> Let's get to the next one okay guys so here is my next one right here this is Puella. this is Puella magi madoka magica this is the definitive story so this story is about if you guys ever seen madoka magica you know what goes on in the story but this is before the manga i mean before the anime so this is a story about kyoko and mommy before how they become magical girls and wow their stories are very deep i've been reading this manga it's heavy it's very deep but um really good it does go through their background stories and it continues on with the anime so if you guys do not have the original anime ones they're in here so that's why it's so thick and it's so good i really like this this is by yen press and we do have all our authors right here the quartets uh, madoka and we have everything on here the, we have art by hanoke hanogaki Anogaki or something like that. I'm so sorry. Um, but yes, the art styles like any Palua Magica. But here is the back if you guys want to read it. We have Kyoko and Kube. Really cool. And I was reading this on the school bus and I freaking dropped my book and it it tore. So I was kind of upset, but you know, it's okay. Um, it's not too bad. I, I like I like keeping my and my manga in good condition as much as I can, but it does have some beautiful artwork in here. You guys know how Madoka is. It, it just, beautiful artwork. They, they never fail. They're just amazing. Um, let's see if we have any more. Mm, I know we have some more because I've seen a poster or two of like one that I used to have when Madoka Magica just came out. It was this one. Yes, I had a poster of this a long time ago when Madoka Magica first came out and I didn't know what the hell this was. I just thought it was cool. Um, and I had it on my wall and my cat decided to tear it down so I threw it away because I was like I don't even know what that manga is not knowing that Madoka Magica would have become one of my favorite animes 
to this day. Um, I love this. Yaniplex needs to lower their prices. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is Madoka Magica, the definitive edition. I picked this up at Barnes and Nobles. Uh, for a reasonable price, I picked it up for $24. Um, I do get discounts automatically at Barnes & Noble's, not because I'm a regular customer, you know, but I have the teacher's discount, which gets more percent off than the um, regular employee or regular kind of customer. I think the regular one gets like 10 and the um, student one gets like 30. So that's why, you know, I don't really mind paying Barnes & Noble prices. I think it's 30 or 20, one of them. Um, but yeah, really cool. I cannot wait to finish this one. I really need to finish that one. I'm highly excited. So let's get on to my last two here that I got here. Um, I'm just going to pick them up. So here they are. They are volume two and three of Chobits. Oops, sorry, I have them upside down. So it's two and three of Chobits. I cannot wait to read these. They are so cool. Clamp makes some of the most beautiful books ever. And I never got to read the original Tokyo Pop versions. Uh, but these ones are so much better. Like, this is so much better than the anime itself. They're so detailed. There's so much story in here. They go through the character designs. The art is so beautiful. Clamp. Clamp never fails me. Do you guys remember when I did those, um, those tarot cards? That, let me grab them really quick. Remember when Right Stuff was giving away these for free? I am so happy I got these. Oh my god, these are the clamp, like, limited edition tarot cards that I showed off in my last video. Sorry for the glare. I have to get super close to my camera just so you guys can see these. Um, here is beautiful artwork. I really like these from different mangas of clamp. We have Clover and Soccer Card Capture, and of course we have Chobits in here which is right here. We have Chi. We have more pictures of Chi. Really cool. I am so happy I got these. You know, these are limited edition. Um, and here's one of my Sakura card capture cards that comes with the manga special edition. So I'm actually going to put that in there so I won't lose it. Um, yes, yeah, so excited. I really love Clamp stories. They're not just for girls. They're for everybody. Even though Clamp is a group of four or five women that, you know, been together for... I am so sorry, you guys. I had to do something really quick. Like I said, I'm always busy. I'm always doing something. So here I am finishing recording my YouTube video. Um, like I said, I did have Chobits, uh, Valium 2 and Valium 3. I do have Valium 1 on my bookshelf. I read it. Amazing. Chobits is a classic. This is a 20th anniversary edition of Chobits. Uh, very beautiful art style as you guys can see on there. Here's Chi. Very beautiful. And if you guys know about the anime, you know who these two little things are. I don't want to spoil it if you've never read the anime or if you never read the manga or seen the anime. Highly recommend it. Really good. It does have artwork in here. Beautiful artwork. Like always, Chi has always been one of my favorites from Clamp. Um, she just has that very gothic Lolita look, very art style pretty pink kind of really beautiful artwork in here. And I do like it. Uh, very gorgeous. I, I cannot wait to finish reading Chobits. Uh, one of my all time favorites. <laughs> Lots of pink in here. Each book comes with, you know, their own arts in it. Uh, that was number three. Here's number two. And they are all at the end. Let me show you everything that's in here. Uh, another one that was another popular figure that just came out. I did miss it again. Um, oh well. I guess it wasn't meant to be. But here's another one. I hope we do get more Chobits figures. Like I said in my last video, I really love Chi. I think she's really beautiful in all the art designs that they do for her. Really gorgeous. Uh, really gorgeous book but yeah lots of art pages in here i don't want to spoil it for you guys but yeah these are all the mangas that i bought at barnes and nobles i paid money for these these were not given to me this is not sponsored um i bought everything in here with my own money and i cannot wait to go book shopping again uh highly recommend a lot of these mangas see if i got anything wrong uh, I never read some of these ones, so I'm so excited to read these. And some of them I had for a long time. Read them and are finally getting number two to them. Uh, so I'm excited to read everything. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel today. I am so sorry. My hair is a mess. I'm a mess. I know I haven't uploaded in so freaking long. It's been a very long time. Forgive me. 
Um, I just been through it and I recorded this like three times, but it was not taking my Android video. So I had to pop out my iPhone, start recording on the weekend. I can't record on the weekday because I work, I get out late, I have to go get my mom from work. It's just been a really long, hard month and I don't know, my YouTube's slowing down, but hopefully when I go on my spring break, I can catch up on my YouTube and start giving you guys more content. I'm sorry I don't post as much as I used to, but be patient with me. I will <laughs> I will eventually keep going on in there. Um, I was inspired a lot by other YouTubers that I follow um, that do manga hauls, and I do buy lots of manga, but I've never thought of showing it off. So yeah, um, I you know, Right Stuff always has amazing deals. Sometimes Barnes & Noble has amazing deals on anime, and sometimes the actual websites. So yeah, you just wanna look around. I cannot wait to finish and start some of these, like finish Madoka and start some of these. I don't know where to start. Um, so excited to read these i cannot wait i cannot wait to get into jojo's bizarre adventure i already finished Wotakoi. i am so happy cannot wait to start some of these so thank you guys again so much for joining me in my channel don't forget to follow me at lilac rose 1990 anywhere tiktok twitter and instagram mostly instagram because i am there active a lot learnt more than i am on my youtube channel believe it or not um but yes, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I will be uploading more videos soon. Thank you guys so much. I know I'm a mess right now, but I've just been all over the place. And I'm just trying to get my YouTube back going. So, see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my manga haul. I cannot wait to show you guys more manga. I know a lot of you guys love these like romance ones. Because a lot of people always show the Shonen Jump ones. And, you know... All those not really the romance ones just once in a while but you know I probably I, I'll show you guys whatever I pick up that I really caught my eye and maybe you'll like it too so yeah those are all mangas that I got at Barnes & Noble that I've been having for the past two three weeks like it's been insane I've been trying to upload this video forever this is the third time me shooting it and hopefully the third time is a charm so thank you guys I'll see you in my next one bye